You have undoubtedly seen the videos showing the devastation from the wildfires in Hawaii. If you live in or were visiting Hawaii, perhaps you were even personally affected. Is there anything you and I can do to help the people, animals, the land affected by these devastating wildfires? Indeed, there is. We can use EFT, prayers, and other energy methods, such as Reiki to send distant healing to the people, animals, land, and all living creatures affected by these devastating fires. I will walk you through using EFT and other methods to send distant healing in this episode of EFT Tapping Junction. Hello and welcome to this episode of EFT Tapping Junction. I am your host, Stephen Carter. For more than four decades, I have helped thousands of people move from stress to success. I hold practitioner and trainer certifications in multiple methods to include, of course, emotional freedom techniques, thought field therapy, NLP, hypnosis, meditation, and multiple other techniques. To learn more about my work and listen to previous episodes of this and other stress-relieving podcasts, visit our main website at stressreliefradio.com. Who is this show for? This show is for you if you use emotional freedom techniques, thought field therapy, or other meridian-based methods for self-care or to help others. When I was first outlining this episode, the Reuters News Service headline read, Maui Fires, Hawaii Death Toll Hits 55, Recovery to Take Years. Governor Josh Green said the inferno that reduced much of Lahaina to smoldering ruins was the worst natural disaster in the state's history, making thousands of people homeless and leveling as many as a thousand buildings. The monetary loss will be in the billions of dollars. One day after this Reuters report, the death toll is now 80 people, and it's likely to go higher. Dr. Kristen Miller is a longtime colleague of mine. She's worked with the Red Cross and other organizations doing psychological relief work, In disaster zones for many years, she told me the TFT Foundation, or the Thought Field Therapy Foundation, and representatives from other relief organizations will be sending volunteers in to help survivors deal with the trauma and emotional pain arising from this terrible event. I certainly applaud these volunteers Few of us can drop everything, fly to Hawaii, and join those on the ground using EFT, TFT, and other methods to help wildfire survivors. What you and I can do is send distant healing for the highest good of people, animals, land, and all living creatures affected by these devastating fires. And that is exactly what you and I are going to do during this episode. If you're new to tapping or energy healing, you may wonder what distant healing is and how tapping or any other energy method is used for distant healing. What is distant healing? Distant healing is focusing intention and attention for healing at a distance to help A person, a group of people, plants, trees, animals, pets, land, water relationships, ocean life, organizations, circumstances. Indeed, we can offer distant healing for the entire planet or to any person, place, or thing that is in need of healing. And you can offer that to a person, place, animal, thing, That may be inches away or thousands of miles away. What are the methods we can employ? Virtually every religion recognizes prayer for healing others. 
Reiki, quantum touch, dowsing, virtually any energy psychology or energy medicine method can be used for distant healing. Can we use EFT, TFT, and other meridian tapping methods to help facilitate healing at a distance? Indeed, we can. Speaking of distant healing, I have a special two-page guide waiting for you that will take you step-by-step through the distant healing technique you'll experience in this episode. To get your free copy, simply create a blank email and enter the words Distant Healing for Hawaii in the subject line. Enter Distant Healing for Hawaii in the subject line and then email your message to me at cartermethod at gmail.com, cartermethod at gmail.com, and I will send you the Distant Healing for Hawaii Guide by return email. How do we begin a Distant Healing session? We begin our Distant Healing session by centering and clearing any disempowering beliefs about whether you can make a difference. Begin by tapping in an EFT Choices affirmation such as, I choose to apply distant healing for the highest good of every life form and the land affected by the wildfires in Hawaii. I choose to apply distant healing for the highest good of every life form and the land affected by the wildfires in Hawaii. One caveat here before we actually begin to tap. If you are in a place where you can safely apply the steps for distant healing, I invite you to do that and tap along with me. If you are driving or you're otherwise engaged in activities where you need Your full attention directed to what you're doing, you may choose to listen, but I encourage you to come back and again listen and actively participate at a time when you can apply the method you and I will be sharing in this episode. As we begin, I assume you are seated comfortably. Allow yourself to take Three or four comfortable in and out breaths. Take three, four comfortable in and out breaths. Slowly, slowly breathe. Have both feet on the floor or even better, on the ground. If you're above ground level, your intention is to ground yourself. You can do that by extending your awareness through your feet as if they are firmly touching Mother Earth. Breathe slowly as you place your hands to your heart. Left hand over right or right hand over left, either is fine. Allow three comfortable, slow breaths as you feel yourself in the chair. Feel your feet on the ground or on the floor. Feel connected within your body. Feel connected to where you're seated. Notice the feeling of your feet on the floor. After you're grounded and settled, tap the karate chop point. We're going to tap in a choices affirmation set up statement such as I choose to release any and all disempowering beliefs that may be blocking the free-flowing energy supporting this distant healing session. I choose to release any and all disempowering beliefs that may be blocking the free-flowing energy supporting this distant healing session. Tap the eyebrow point and voice that setup statement again. I choose to release any disempowering beliefs 
that may be blocking the free-flowing energy supporting this distant healing session. As we tap other points, we'll use a simple reminder phrase, side of the eye, I choose to release any and all disempowering beliefs. Under the eye, I choose to release any and all disempowering beliefs. Under the nose, I choose to release any and all disempowering beliefs. Under the lip, release any and all disempowering beliefs. Collarbone, release any and all disempowering beliefs. If you are comfortable tapping under your arm, tap there. Otherwise, stay with the collarbone point. Release any and all disempowering beliefs. Move to the crown. Release any and all disempowering beliefs. Place hands to heart and allow three comfortable, loving in and out breaths. Place hands to heart and allow three or four comfortable, loving in and out breaths. Our next step is to tap for self-care. For self-care, you're going to tap one or more rounds and give voice to what you see, what you hear, and what you are feeling related to the Maui wildfires. As an example, I tap on the karate chop point and give voice to what I've seen and what I've heard and my feelings. There is so much devastation. I simply cannot believe how much damage and death the wildfires have caused. As you give voice to your feelings, you are tapping through the various tapping points. You're tapping through your points as you're speaking, giving voice to what you feel, what you see, what you hear. Begin with the karate chop point. And as you're testifying to what you're feeling, what you're seeing, what you're hearing, continue to tap through those points as you're speaking from your heart. After one or more rounds, giving voice to your feelings about what you've seen, what you've heard, how you're feeling, you're going to end this stage with a positive choices affirmation such as, I choose to be at peace and allow what is to be as it is and do everything I can to help those affected by these wildfires. I choose to be at peace and allow what is to be as it is and do everything I can to help those affected by these wildfires. Allow that affirmation to really resonate through your body. Feel it in your heart and throughout your neurology. Feel that energy in your body. Feel the energy of that affirmation throughout your body. As we move into the actual tapping for distant healing process, we're going to use a surrogate object. Let's turn our attention to using a surrogate object to help us focus. What is a surrogate object? It is a substitute object that represents the real, physical, or energetic tapping target. It's a substitute object that represents the real, physical, or energetic tapping target. A surrogate object can be an image in your mind, it can be a photograph, any physical item, a map, a stuffed toy, a doll. It can be a hand or computer-drawn image, anything that helps you stay focused. That surrogate object is an embodied representation of your target. The surrogate is an embodied representation of your target. I've included a map of Hawaii in the guide that I spoke of earlier. You can use the image of that map as a focal point as your surrogate if you would like to do so. 
You can find maps of Hawaii online, or you can pick any physical object of any kind. You can use an online photograph, a real physical photograph. Any object is fine. Bring attention to the surrogate object you selected. Tap the karate chop point as you give voice to a choices method affirmation, such as, I choose to send love and healing energy to every person, animal, and life form affected by these wildfires. I choose to send love and healing energy to every person, animal, and life form affected by these wildfires. As you tap each point, your reminder phrase can be something like, Sending healing energy and love. Sending healing energy and love. Go to the eyebrow point. Say out loud, sending healing energy and love. Sending healing energy and love. Side of the eye. Sending healing energy and love. Under the eye. Sending healing energy and love. Under the nose, sending healing energy and love. Under the lip, sending healing energy and love. Collarbone, sending healing energy and love. If you can comfortably do so, tap under the arm. Otherwise, stay with the collarbone, sending healing energy and love. Tap the crown point. I choose to send healing energy and love to every person, animal, the land, and all life forms affected by these wildfires. And I choose to do that right now. I choose to send healing energy and love to every person, animal, the land, and all life forms affected by these wildfires, and I choose to do that right now. Close by bringing hands to heart. Close your eyes. Feel the love in and around your heart. Feel the positive energy pulsating through your body. Connect your heart to that surrogate object. Send a beam of light from your heart to that surrogate object. Allow that energy to flow into and through that surrogate to the people, the places, the land, and all life forms that have been affected by these wildfires. Feel that love in your heart. Send it through the surrogate object. Remember that surrogate object is the energetic representation for the people, animals, life forms, land, places, buildings, everything and everyone affected by the wildfires. Maintain a meditative state of mind and body as you allow the love to grow stronger. Continue sending that from your heart to the surrogate. Continue that until you notice a felt sense that tells you it's time to close the session. As you're closing your session, I suggest you give thanks to your source as you prepare to return to normal awareness, allow a final in and out loving breath and say the word peace. Peace. Open your eyes, stretch, yawn. Give a good yawn, sigh, stretch, 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 stretch. Good. And I would suggest one more in and out breath with the word peace. 
Please keep in mind, while we are focused on the wildfire destruction in Hawaii for this episode, the process I've shared with you can be used for any storm, any disaster, any person, situation, event, anything, any person, any situation you believe is in need of healing energy. Do remember you can receive a free guide for distant healing using EFT tapping. To get your free copy, simply create a blank email and enter the words distant healing for Hawaii in the subject line. Email that message to me at cartermethod at gmail.com and I'll send you that distant healing for Hawaii guide by return email. If you're not yet following the EFT Tapping Junction podcast, where you get your podcasts, this is a perfect time to follow the show. When you follow in your listening app of choice, you will never miss an episode. And by the way, you can receive episode notifications by email. Visit us at our website, stressreliefradio.com, and click the podcast menu option and then click the EFT Tapping Junction podcast. While you're on that site, have a listen to other shows in our network dedicated to letting go of stress and creating a happier, healthier, and more successful life. If you would like to share a comment about this or any other episode, or you would like to be in touch for any reason, email me at cartermethod at gmail.com, Until our next visit together, this is your host for the EFT Tapping Junction Show, Steve Carter, wishing blessings in abundance for you and your loved ones.